wherein Mitchum were the public fire alarms. Now, to begin with, I have to admit, I didn't know there were any public fire alarms until I saw an article in the Mitchum and Tooting Advertiser, 25th September 1952. And it said, Protest against fire call plan. Decisions and street fire alarms causes grave concern. The County Council, which is Surrey County Council, decision to abolish Mitchum's automatic fire alarm system. It is proposed to provide an additional number of telephone boxes to replace the service. And this has brought a spate of petitions and protests from all over the borough. The borough being referred to here as the borough of Mitchum. It wasn't until 1965 that Mitchum became part of the London Borough of Merton. Mitchum Residents Conference have asked the County Council to receive a deputation to discuss the matter. The proposal the conference state is causing grave concern not only in Mitchum but in the whole of Surrey as well. So that was... 25th September, and then a later story on the 27th of November, a couple of months later, grave concern over loss of fire alarms, a resolution of protest sent to the Home Secretary, a resolution expressing grave concern at the decision of the Surrey County Council was discontinued on January the 1st, the present fire alarm system in Mitcham. Calls will then be made by telephone, it is to be sent to the Home Secretary. The matter is also to be brought to the attention of Mr Robert Carr, MP for Mitcham. And that was, as I say, November. So, 1st of January, Mitchum Tooten Advertiser. 1st of January, 1953. Fire calls must be telephoned. Street alarms taken out of service today. Oh dear. So, so much for the protests. Now, this is the only photograph I've come across of a fire alarm, public fire alarm in Mitchum. Not a very good photograph. This is from a microfilm of the newspaper and the caption to it says six-year-old Helen and it might be Bugin I can't quite work out the surname there of Mitcham looks at a familiar local landmark that will soon be no more with other fire alarm posts in the borough this one at the fair green is to be axed I think it says axed anyway so where at the fair green was this while I've done some digging I came across some council minutes and in 1937, the Chief Fire Officer gave a report to the Council, to the Fire Brigade, Buffs and Library Committee, stating that what was in use was the Gainwell Closed Circuit Fire Alarm System in three circuits, 36 succession type boxes, four circuit switchboard, automatic repeater and visual indicator. And it lists the three circuits. And here we go, here's Upper Green, corner of Upper Green West. So let's look at this on the map. This is a 1953 map, which is very good timing because a map produced from this location just a year later will not show it because they've been taken out of service. And it's indicated there with the letters FAP, Fire Alarm Post, or might also be Fire Alarm Pillar. And there's a TCB next to it, a telephone call box. So it's quite likely in addition to this map in the following year will not have the FAP there because it have been taken out of service and the TCB was there to replace it even though there was a telephone call box across the road next to the toilets. If you want to look at my website, there's the complete list of where all the fire alarm posts were. I also looked further back in the council minutes to see when these fire alarms came into use. And this one, 1920, a fire alarm system suggested by the chief fire officer, I think is referring to bringing in the Gamewell closed circuit system. The fire officer is basically saying, he would suggest that before proceeding any further on the installation of additional fire alarms, it would be a good idea to have a look at the system that is currently in use in places like Wimbledon, Epsom uh, or Bromley. The system is the Gamewell system closed circuit. So this implies then that they weren't using a closed circuit system prior to 1920. If they were using an open circuit system, that would have been something like this, in as much that the central fire station of Mitcham would have individual fire alarm posts with individual lines coming into it now when that was first set up I, I don't know but apparently this was quite a sensible idea in as much that each fire alarm post had to have its own bell or lamp or what have you in the control room uh, and the description of where that post was would be would be written underneath it so it would be straightforward you would see which fire alarm post has got off but the problem is if there's a fault developed in any of these lines 
say for instance there, there's a break. There would be no way of knowing at the station that that is not working anymore. And so the game world closed circuit system that was being suggested by the chief fire officer in 1920 gets around that problem. And if you'd like to know how the fire alarm boxes worked and the closed circuit system, I've made another video about that because I go on a bit too long. So therefore I've made it into two separate videos. Anyway, so if you enjoyed watching this video, um, please press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and um, bye for now.